it is Toby here back for another video and in today's video we're going to be hitting a bench press session. Yes we are back benching. It's been so long since I've put a bench press session on the channel. I have been doing them a little bit few and far between but really I haven't trained bench properly in a good five or six months because obviously I was prepping for the competition and everything. So we're going to be back benching today. We're not going to be going for PRs or anything like that. It's going to be a high volume day. Uh, lots of blood through the chest and triceps getting all the technique and stuff back before we move on to some really, really heavy stuff. And yeah, just wanted to say thank you guys for listening in the last video where I said 90% of you are not subscribed because we've been gaining loads of subscribers and we now hit 150, which has been uh, brilliant. That was my end of year goal. So to get that now in October is a really brilliant thing. So thank you guys and continue to subscribe if you haven't already. Please support the channel and like the video. But anyway, Without further ado, I'm going to explain the session and then we'll jump straight into it. So this session's pretty simple. It's going to consist of two or three exercises over the course of the next hour and a half. We're going to be starting, of course, with the flat bench, really working on getting that technique, getting that arch and leg drive incorporated, uh, doing a high rep top set. So a top set of eight reps uh, for me, which will probably be at around about 90 kilo is what I did last time I did this workout. So we'll give that a go, try and get eight reps with that. I've done that before, we'll see if I can get it as easily now, I've been losing weight as well. Uh, then we'll drop down to two back off sets of eight at 80% of the top set. So whatever 80% of 90 is probably around uh, 60, 70, that sort of area. Another two sets of eight just to flood the muscles with blood and really finish off that exercise. And then we'll move on to a incline bench. So on the Friday, no, the Saturday session where I do shoulders, I do a high incline uh, with the log, because obviously log is a more like high incline press rather than a shoulder press. Uh, so on today's session, we'll do a lower incline, heavier weight, and we'll do uh, a, a couple sets of five, so three sets of five on that. Uh, that is, again, just to work the top portion of the muscle a bit more, the muscle I need more for strongman. So flat bench is more just like an ego lift that I want to get good at and do, but for strongman, it's actually the top half of your chest that gets used a lot with like the log press and the Viking press and that sort of thing. Uh, it's part of the upper pressing movement. So that will, again, tax the triceps more, really build that pressing power, which is what I'm lacking at the moment. So that'll be brilliant. Uh, and then just to finish off the triceps, we will be moving on to dumbbell skull crushers, which I'll do for high reps, probably around uh, 10 or 12 uh, reps there for three sets. Uh, and then if we get time, I will move on to some like dips or something to end. But um, usually dips haven't been going too well for me recently because I've put on a lot of body weight. So uh, my triceps aren't actually that strong for me to do dips. But we will see and we will move on and see how that works. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into bench pressing and see how it goes.
So I may as well say sat here because this is a pretty good angle and it makes my shoulders look massive, even though they are really pumped up right now from that. But as you saw, we got the eight reps. Uh, wouldn't really count as a eight reps if I put it back for, and then pour it back out for the last rep. Does that count as a set of seven, then a micro rest, then a, an eighth rep? I'm gonna count it as a set of eight. I mean, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we're not in competition, we're just training. Um, the fact I was able to grind through that, no spotter, feeling good, it meant I just felt better than last time I did it. Last time, obviously, I had a spotter, um, which if you know, follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a few weeks ago. But yeah, this time without spotters, obviously, we've got the safeties here uh, just in case. But yeah, I was happy I was able to get that. That was really good. Uh, bench feels like it's finally progressing again. Um, but I just wanted to take the time between the O2 exercises to really focus on something that I really believe in. And it is not rushing progress. A lot of people you see online are deadlifting huge amounts, benching huge amounts, ridiculous amounts. You've got to remember nine times out of 10, they're juiced up to fuck and you just can't do it. And a lot of the time Instagram lies, so the physiques are just different. Videos lie. I'm not this big in real life, I promise. Um, but you've got to remember that not everyone can be the world's strongest man. Not everyone can be Mr. Olympia. But what you've got to remember is focusing on your own progress and listening to your body is the biggest thing you can do. I got really carried away these last few weeks on a really high streak after my uh, strongman comp of just rushing progress, trying to push through and get PR after PR. And sometimes it works and you set a new deadlift PR. Sometimes you fail and get pinned, pinned by a bench press twice in the same session. You can't PR every session. You just can't. You've got to listen to your body and work through loads of different weaknesses. You've got to identify your weaknesses and push through them. And the strongest thing you can do in the gym, you can deadlift a thousand pounds, you can bench 500 pounds, but the strongest thing you can do in the gym is listen to your body, realize where you're weak and work on those weaknesses. 90 kg for me on bench when my deadlift is way over 200, my squats over 200, my overhead press on the log and on the barbell is 90 kilos. And I did 80 for three on log last week. And I'm over here flat benching 90 kilos for reps. And it's heavy, it's hard. And that's because bench is a weakness of mine. I wanna build on it. But instead of rushing and PRing every week, injuring myself and not being able to do it, I'm lightening the weight for myself, doing higher reps, really focusing on building strength in the muscle in every rep range. And through doing that, my one rep max will go up. So I like to, show you guys every step of my journey. So instead of just showing you the PRs and the good sessions, I'm gonna show you some of the grindy sessions, some of the sessions that aren't that interesting, like this bench session, and really show you what it takes, because it's really fun watching people like Eddie Hall, Larry Wheels on YouTube, doing stupid weights, but also it can be nice to see someone who is doing weights that are achievable for you, lighter weights than yourself, just some normal person like myself, just training like you would do, and sometimes that can be more inspirational. So if you enjoy that sort of content, comment down below, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more because I'll be showing you every step on the way. But as for now, we're gonna be moving on to incline bench. So we're gonna whack the bench up a couple inclines, drop the weight uh, right back down, warm up through the stages again, and then do three sets of five reps on this, probably uh, about 70 or 80 kilos. So slightly lighter than I would do on the flat bench, obviously, because it's incline, but really focusing on blowing up those uh, pecs and triceps, especially the upper pec, uh, to help with the log press. Obviously, I'm gonna be really fatigued now because I've just had to grind through a set of eight on 90 kilo on flat bench, so my triceps are gonna be weaker, my pecs are gonna be weaker, so I can't get to as high of a weight as I would want. I'm just gonna feel it out, feel what weight feels comfortable for five reps each set, work through that and do that, and we'll look at that once again in a montage style because no one commented on the video down below whether they prefer montage or me speaking over. So I'm gonna go back to montage for now, but if you would prefer a more um, post-commentary style or even no music and just me lifting audio, do comment down below and I'll take your comments into consideration. Anyway, without further ado, let's get incline benching. <laughs>
there we go. That is called going to failure. I worked up to 70 kilos, as you probably saw, and did two sets of five. The second set, I kept banging the bastard J cups because I was too far back. So yeah, I used a lot more energy trying to actually get around them, um, which was annoying. And then yeah, on the third set there, absolutely gassed out at the fifth rep. Literally, it was this arm as well. It was my right, which is strange because usually my uh, left arm is the weaker of the two uh, that gave out and it was just like not going. So that's why we have the safeties. As you saw, safety bailed out of that one. Um, yeah, if you're in a small room like this without uh, safeties, uh, without a spotter or the room to really have a spotter, then yeah, safeties were an absolute necessity. Anyway, uh, that's probably the best view of the home gym you've got in those videos because we were right far back, got to see everything. And you have to remember, I still do sleep in this room as well. You guys are currently propped on the bed. So if you have an idea of how cramped it actually is, the camera is on my bed. And as you can see, I can literally reach out and nearly touch you guys because it's that close. But yeah, overall good. I'm very happy with how the pressing has gone today. Feeling good, don't feel that tired. It's just my muscles are completely gassed. I'm looking big as well. I've lost a little bit of body fat, so my shoulders are popping a bit more than they would usually do, especially if I do like that. Uh, just need to get rid of the stuff around the tummy and my love handles. My back's getting quite lean-ish now. So yeah, we're, we're dropping body fat and we're not dropping too much weight, to be honest. Um, started the big cut, as you know, at the competition of 107 kilos. I'm down to 102, 103, been hovering around there throughout this cut and I've just been losing body fat, getting leaner and staying about the same weight, which has been ideal. Want to drop the weight down still below 90 is what I'm going to end the cut because, no, not below 90, that's a lot. Below 100, I want to get into the 90s um, and look pretty lean, get the abs back, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, we're doing pretty well so far, only a couple weeks in, so that's good. But yeah, overall, very happy with the pressing. I'm not going to show you uh, the final accessory, which was going to be dumbbell skull crushes because they're a bit boring. And um, we did a longer video for the deadlift session last week. So I'm gonna trial out a bit of a shorter video here uh, with the benching, see which one performs better. Uh, see if you guys prefer longer videos or shorter videos. Again, if you want to specifically let me know, do comment down below because I'll listen to the comments above uh, just what the numbers are saying because it's the comments and the people who regularly watch the channel I wanna keep um, enticed. And yeah, so if you want more of a say on the channel, please do subscribe because yeah, I need more subscribers. I mean, we've hit 150, that was the year goal. But as if I want to keep doing this as I'm doing, getting it more and more regularly, we need to get those numbers up and uh, get it above a thousand, hopefully. That's the end of next year's goal. See if I can really push myself and get me above the a thousand subscriber threshold, which would be absolutely incredible. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. A couple of things I do want to say is if you do have any questions or anything, leave a comment. Instagram DM, that sort of thing, and I'll either respond to it in the comments or if I get enough questions, do a full Q&A video. So yeah, do ask a load of questions. I've got a couple good video ideas coming up in the future that I just need a bit more time to work on and a bit more time to film. So in the meantime, we'll be doing more uh, training sessions and stuff like that. If you like the training sessions, yeah, please leave a like on the video and let me know. If there's any specific training sessions you wanna see and any specific exercises you want me to have a go at, anything like that, please also let me know them in the comments below. If you wanna follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I post daily training footage on Instagram, lots of Instagram stories, a lot more into my life. Then on TikTok, I post uh, the better lifts, so my PRs, some rep PRs, some fun lifts, anything fun that happens in a session goes on TikTok, but TikTok's more of a platform I'm using to try and get more viewership over to this channel because YouTube is my passion and I've been doing it now on this channel for over a year. Uh, or nearly a year regularly on this channel actually, never mind, yeah, nearly a year. And uh, I've been doing it on other channels uh, pretty much my whole teenage years, but I'm not gonna tell you what those channels are because they're embarrassing. But yeah, this is the first time I really wanna take it properly and do it seriously. I really enjoy doing it, it's my absolute passion. But yeah, just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment down below. Follow me on all my socials down in the description. If you have any questions, as I said, comment, I've said about three times and please, Please, please do subscribe because as I said, 90% of people who watch this channel are not subscribed and that is likely because of the shorts I post that go viral in random countries such as India and stuff like that. But if you are watching this channel and you're not subscribed, please, I won't spam your inbox 
with videos you don't want to watch. I post my training sessions, I post videos every now and again, they're not too regular, once a week usually if that, so if you can live with that in your inbox, please just subscribe and help out a small channel. All these larger channels are constantly banging on about subscriber goals and stuff, and they don't need the subscribers, they're already, already in the millions and that sort of thing, whereas I'm only a little 150 subscriber channel and I'd love to be up there with some of the big boys and making this content more full time because this is what I'm doing on the side as well as uni. And I probably put too much effort into making these videos as opposed to my uni work. So I wanna be able to do it full time. So cheers for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.